Today, our special Knight Rider historian correspondent, Jacob Peterson, brings you a fabulous brand new interview with Sean King. Sean appeared in two of Knight Rider's most popular and well-known episodes. We first see her as Lonnie in the Knight Rider pilot, and again as Rita Wilcox in Goliath. Watch as Sean recounts her time on the set and shares some fantastic stories. Welcome. It's all about Knight Rider when I have the pleasure of talking to Sean King or Sean Southwick as was her name when she played important parts in Knight Rider back in the 1980s being in both the pilot and the second season premiere Goliath. I can't think of anyone uh, outside the regular cast that has been more involved. Uh, Sean has four hours of Knight Rider under her belt. Sean played um, smiling bad girl Lonnie in the pilot, assistant to Tonya Walker. And as such, she was actually on screen uh, in Knight Rider before Michael Knight and also before Michael Long. In Goliath, she uh, played Rita Wilcox, a Las Vegas dealer. Uh, she approaches uh, uh, the Foundation for Law and Government to get help to find out what has happened to her brother. Now, in fact, this lady, she witnessed both the shooting of Michael Long and she was romantically involved with Garth Knight. Now I'm on a full alert here, uh, having my scanners peeled. Uh, I hope you enjoy this conversation with Sean King. Hey, Jacob. Hey. All right. I think we have her. Jacob. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Okay, is, and you, look, you look fantastic. Oh, you, have, you, have, you haven't aged a day since 1982 <laughs> or 1983. It's fantastic. <laughs> you know, I, I actually got your autograph on my wall in, in my office. Oh my gosh! Yeah, along, wow. with, along with a lot of other Knight Rider related autographs. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm honored, truly. <laughs> it's uh, truly. yeah, yeah. As, as, as I said, you you have a lot of uh, of huge Knight Rider fans that, that adore your you you for your roles in as Lonnie in the pilot and as Rita in in, uh, in Goliath. I, 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 I just I I, I, I you know I, I know uh, I know the episodes of the show and I can't when I think of. Uh, of, of who's been on the show, uh, besides the regular cast, I don't think that, that any, any, any other actor got more, or actress, got more than four hours of Night Rider under their belt. Uh, and you, you, you got four hours under your belt, two hours in the pilot, two hours in, in Goliath. So, uh, I did. Yeah. I did. That's, so, that, I, you know, I, I never thought about that. No, yeah, um, yeah. And, and, and you were, be, being in the pilot, you, you were in some, yeah, to, to us Night Rider fans, very iconic scenes, and, and we, we're going to go through some of them, yeah, in the in the, in the in this conversation. Yeah. Well, let's dive into Night Rider. It's on the screen behind me. Um, can you remember? Can you remember how you how you got the the role as Lonnie in the pilot? I do remember very well. It's an, an, a very interesting story, and I have never told it uh, because. People were, they were, yeah, Glenn was alive and, and uh, uh, I will just say, uh, Glenn, I had just gotten married. Um, I had uh, a brand new little baby boy. Um, so I'd been married for about a year and a half and, and Danny was teeny tiny. Um, and I had Thanksgiving dinner at my house and Glenn uh, has been a friend of my family since before I was born. So Glenn Larson. Yeah. And uh, so he came to the Thanksgiving dinner and uh, about a week later, I got a call from him and he said, Hey, 
I've got a part for you. It's a pilot. Will you come on down uh, to LA? And I would, I would love to have you in this show. And uh, so, of course, I said, yeah, that would, I would love that. I'd done some acting and stage work and singing and this entertainment business was our family business. So, so it was a natural thing to accept an acting job. Um, but then flew me down. I didn't stay in a hotel. I stayed at his house okay. in, um, in, a, in a spare bedroom. And uh, Glenn's wife was living just, I lived in the mountains or, and there was, I was, I lived on one shelf the shelf above me glenn and his and his wife carol had bought a house she wanted to not be in los angeles so much and she wanted to be in utah so um so glenn uh <laughs> because we knew each other so well he came into my room totally platonic no you know no monkey business he's like an uncle and he sat at the foot of the bed and he started grilling me with questions. And uh, the questions were about, I was in a, a, a college band, we did cover, cover songs and my drummer had rented a room from Glenn's wife in their house up above me. So Glenn being the brilliant and clever man that he was, I uh, brought me down and said, uh, hey, can you give me some, what's going on up at my house in Utah? Is that all, is that kosher? Is that, what's happening? <laughs> so, this is what, this is what Hollywood power, you know, they, they don't just use it for, for the entertainment business. This was a very personal thing to him yeah. and, and he wanted an answer. And fortunately, I knew nothing. And there probably was nothing. I don't know. But I felt like that was the reason Glenn initially hired me, was to pepper me with questions about <laughs> 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 what was going in the house, what was going on in the house, just, just one block above me. Yeah. So we had a good reason. <laughs> yeah, a dang good reason. Yeah. And yeah, the, 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 that's just how wild Hollywood can be yeah. and the entertainment business in general. Um, who, you know, who thinks of things like that? And, and he couldn't have done it with any, really, with anybody. Well, no, I was the only person that would have had that information. Yeah. Yeah. And luckily, um, another reason I was hired is David Hasselhoff is six, six foot four. Yeah. So I am 5'11". So the, the match was a good match yeah, yeah. Um, visually. Yeah. So. Great story. Um, Great story. Interesting. Yeah. You were close friends with, uh, with Glenn Larson. Your question was, we were, clo we were close yeah. to Glenn. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can yeah. talk a bit more about uh, Glenn Larson. Because, yeah. 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 And my uncle was in a, a group called The Letterman. Um, Glenn was in a group called the four, no, shoot, was it the four preps or I think it was the four, there were a few harmony groups out. Um, yeah, right. yeah, 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 you got it. Yeah. So, um, David Somerville, uh, Glenn, and I can't remember the others, but, um, they, and my uncle's group, the Letterman were kind of in the same genre they were in the same genre of music so that was another kind of a uh, a, a connection that they would you know uh, they were competing but they also uh it was a uh, you know they were just all together it was yeah. it was during a time when there was, the competition was not something that um was like dirty competition that no. we see sometimes now no. it was it was a different time where everyone was kind of friendly and and uh, in the, if you're in if you're in this gang then you're in that gang yeah. and uh, so uh so that was that was how they first met and we also are uh, of the same faith 
So uh, Glenn is a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, as am I. And uh, so we had that in common, too. Yeah, of course. It's a, it's, a, it's a strong bond as well. Yeah, yeah, I can understand. Yeah. Um, Okay, yeah, well, if, if we move on just a bit, I, you know, I have a, some, some pictures. Hopefully, it'll, it'll bring uh, back some, some memories. And uh, yeah. What? The, I, need to, I, can't, I can hardly see because. Okay, I yeah, I, 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 I think it, 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 hopefully it'll, it'll regulate itself just, uh, just in a few seconds. Um, so that I see bigger than me. Oh. Yes. Uh, this is a picture. From from uh, that is from, from a, yeah yeah from, I know what that scene was yeah yeah I, I was talking into my wrist huh <laughs> <laughs> you were exactly what a memory <laughs> yes yes I was um this is this was Lonnie yeah and she was a bad girl she yeah. was Sm smiling pretty bad girl yeah yeah. Yeah, that was, she was a, a, a decoy and she was a spy. And and uh, in this scene, I was getting ready to go into whose room? Whose room? Somebody's hotel room. Yeah, in, in, into the, into the, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Whose room, do you remember whose room it was in? Yeah. Oh, I wish, uh, what is his name? Uh, he, he was he was the the, 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 the the guy who owned all the companies. I, I can't remember his name. Oh, I um, I know. Oh, I don't. I don't either. I don't either. But but it's, so it's you're, you're, you're perfectly right. Yeah, yeah. I had this little camera. And I was yeah. taking the exactly. the photos as quickly as I could, uh, so that I could send them to uh, my my leader. And uh, but that was fun. That was fun to kind of. Uh, I've only played a bad girl, I think, two times in my life. Uh, so and this was the first time. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and, and actually, yeah. Well, well, you you are on screen um, before uh, David Hasselhoff <laughs> and and before the guy who plays uh, Michael Long. So so it's it's uh, almost the very first thing that we see is is you uh, is you walking down and and uh, in a spy like manner <laughs> taking <laughs> pictures. Looking, trying to look look very nonchalant and looking at the guy and <laughs> checking yeah. out the guy. <laughs> Who's actually spying on me? <laughs> yeah, he was exactly. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, well, I, th I think we should we should move on to, to to the next scene. And and you know, I don't know if you can see this. This is out in the desert, uh, and oh. you, you actually witnessed the shooting of Michael Long. Uh, I did. Yeah, yeah. So so I, I, so you're you're really you are a bad girl. You are a bad girl. Um, very bad girl. Yeah. And a very bad actress in that scene, by the way. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, can, you, can you remember anything? Uh, wh wh where was that uh, uh, scene uh, uh, filmed? Um, and, and, and... Some, I'm pretty sure it was somewhere out in the valley, uh, in, in the, sh the San Fernando Valley. Yeah. Um, this was not in Vegas. I'm... Fifty percent sure of that. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I, I remember uh, being there and trying to figure out because this really was my first big kind of television job, and so and I had zero training in yeah. television acting, not zip. You know, and and there's this thing called business when um, it's the stuff that you do when you're not in when you're not speaking in a scene, but you're part of the scene. Yeah. So you know, kind of maybe looking at your watch or 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 being whatever. Well, I just kind of stood there because I had no idea what to do, and I thought, well, if I move, it's going to attract attention on me. I don't want that. So I'm here. <laughs> But I'm not really here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I learned but, about business later on. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, of course. But, but, but just see, Michael, just to see that that shooting scene. In that moment, I didn't understand what an iconic moment that was. Yeah, it was really, really iconic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, in in the whole. Yeah. Series, so, yeah, um, but but and, and you were there seeing the guy throwing himself up on the hood of the car, um, right? Yeah, all of that, 
Yeah, yeah. Lots of stunt work yeah. uh, in, in, in Knight Rider. Yeah. Um, the Gill family uh, yeah, Jack. were the ones that, Jack. Yeah, Jack, Jack and Andy, yeah, yeah. Uh, was, yeah. I had the pleasure of, of, of doing a similar conversation with uh, Jack um, about a year ago. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, yeah, yeah. How's he doing? I think he's fine. Uh, also, l- 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 uh, appearing from his uh, from his Facebook, he's uh, he's enjoying life definitely, <laughs> and, yeah. and, and st- still very active. So uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna check him out on Facebook. Yeah, he, yeah, definitely. He, uh, he's a guy. Yeah, he he looks like he's uh, he's enjoying life definitely. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, All right. That can be interpreted a lot of ways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This was to be interpreted in the good way, <laughs> in the positive okay. way. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, so uh, a very, very <laughs> iconic scene, but, but it's, it's actually, it's not the only iconic scene. Now, I hope that, that, that this picture gets a bit better, actually. It's, it's, uh, I see David. Yeah, it's David, see... it's David Hasloff in his, in, in his red turtleneck. Um, and his, oh, I see the turtleneck now. Oh, yeah. And 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 and, and, and actually, I, I don't know how much you were in this scene, but 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 this is just taken after David has uh, told his car kit uh, that that uh, he shouldn't have, uh, yeah, uh, started him up because he, now he can't shut he, he can't shut him up, and uh, oh. and and and, and <laughs> Kit says, well, if if this ends up in a divorce, I want custody of me. <laughs> and, uh, and 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 David looks up and he's uh, yeah he's just been shouting down his car and 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 and, and you know a, a group of a group of lovely uh, ladies are standing by you you being the one of them and he just <laughs> says hi ladies after shouting at his, uh, at his car and then th- that that is also a very a very uh, iconic scene in uh, yeah. in in Knight Rider, uh, him him uh, yeah uh, saying hi ladies. I don't know if you if you if you remember any of any of these um, these scenes. I vaguely do remember that there were again. This was my first time doing something like this, and so I was spinning so many plates and trying to learn in real time. Um, favors are great when a friend invites you to come on a. a what's going to be this big giant show, but he may have, you know, suggested, why don't you get a class or two in before you yeah. go on? <laughs> but I guess I fooled some people and they thought I was okay and, and I didn't do you, you, too you, bad. And, and you, you came back in, in Goliath, so... so uh, yeah, so, 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 so yeah, much. yeah. Yeah. Um... It was actually a different producer who hired me. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. So, so you could you could say even though Glenn did you a favor, so he could uh, he could question you about what was ha- yeah. happening. <laughs> um, <laughs> your, your 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 second time on Night Rider was a totally different producer. So, so you you, you yeah. m- must have left a, a very good and uh, yeah, a very good. Uh, well, I had to audition that time. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And, and and I remember that very well, and we can talk about that after you get finished with whatever yeah. you need to know about this episode yeah yeah um yeah i also have a i have a um a question of uh, of of the pilot and um, d- did you um, think that, that there was any difference when filming a pilot compared to to when you came back on the show um and then maybe yes. try to talk a bit about that very much so big difference the the, the pilot David was a, uh, a a daytime television star, yeah. soap opera, and he'd never really done primetime TV. So to have the lead role in a pilot, where when, you, when you're doing a pilot, and I've done a few, um, the feeling there's such a feeling of hope and excitement. And the unknown, and where is this going to go? Are we going to get canceled after two shows? Or might this have legs? Might this go on for a season or two or five or I, ten? I don't know how many How many seasons did Knight Rider last? Do you four, know? Four, four, four seasons. Four seasons. Okay, so yeah. four, wow, four yeah. seasons. Yeah. Um, yeah, so David was kind of, was very giddy and... Um, kind of even kept confiding in me because he knew I was close with Glenn. You know, this is just, this is so exciting and I am, I'm loving this. I wonder if it's going to last. I'm not sure. So he was a lot less 
uh, he, it, it, not, not, it wasn't that he wasn't confident. Um, he was just it, it, like the first day in school. Yeah. yeah. You know, your first day and, and you're, you don't know what to expect. Um, and he maybe first day in college. I'm not kindergarten. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you just you just don't know. And you are full of hope and excitement. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I do remember that um, about David yeah. in, in that season. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. OK. Let, let's move on. Um, the next thing we've got here, it's, yeah, I don't think if you can, I don't know if you can see it. It's a fantastic promo picture from, uh, from, from Goliath, you and David uh, standing. Uh, on, yeah, out in the, in the uh, desert? Kid. Yeah, yeah, in the desert. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, to, to put these on, uh, on the, um, yeah, on the uh, recording of this, uh, so, so, so that it, it'll be able, to, uh, people will be able to see it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, great. Yeah. yeah. So, it, but it's, it's, it's a great picture. Um, and, and I think, I think that, that a lot of promo pictures probably were done because uh, Goliath was, was the, the, the first um uh, the first uh, episode to uh, to to uh, yeah to premiere in in the second season also yeah. a, two, a two hour show actually uh, according to 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 my good friends at, at night rider historians uh, this uh -huh. was the most viewed show uh, of, of of all four seasons around 26 million oh. 26 million um viewers <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So was, yeah yeah so wow. um, well I, I think that's so interesting that 26 million people saw it. If, if you look at shows today, because you're so diluted with, the, you know, with everything YouTube and yeah. and all the different cable, whatever, and yeah. Netflix, this and that, that. Back then, to have a network show, there were three networks. Yeah. That was yeah. it. Yeah. So the excitement really was there. And when you say premiere, we had a premiere at Universal Studios uh, for casting crew. Yeah. And uh, I, I remember stepping out on a patio after we had seen the whole show cut ready to, it was gonna premiere the next, the next week. Um, and so they wanted us to have a, a sneak peek. Yeah. And okay. it, was, it was like a, a real premiere. Yeah. And it was, it was just so, so much fun. So yeah, so, that you you were among other things you were uh, you were of, of course in in Las Vegas in um, yes yeah in in uh, oh, for, for, so the, the photo yeah. was taken that was taken after we had wrapped after we finished shooting yeah uh, I think they grabbed us um, just for some stills very quickly yeah uh, and there were a few different there, there were some stills of us in the car. Uh, but I think those may have been screen grabs where they just take something, uh, uh, one frame of, of film yeah. uh, and um, and use that. But the, the, the ones standing by the car, that was with the photographer and, and, uh, and that was fun. And I forgot until I, uh, during the virus, I had a little time on my hands, as did everybody else. Yeah. So <laughs> I looked up. Night Rider, just for the heck of it. My kids, my older kids had never, my younger kids, sorry, had, had never seen it. And uh, so I wanted to, to just remember what it was and show them. I forgot, I kissed, uh, I kissed Garth. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> and it was, it was very weird for me because um, here I was with this great looking guy who we'd become friends and we were, and now the kiss comes and I'm supposed to not like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so being the, the new actress that I was, um, I didn't enjoy it, no. which really, <laughs> I regret that we didn't have like a test kiss. Yeah. <laughs> And then have the director say, "Oh, oh, guys, back it off, back it off. That's not." <laughs> but uh, no, I had to wince and stay away from yeah. from Garth, the evil 
twin. Yeah, the so. evil twin, exactly. <laughs> you, you, you both witnessed Michael Long getting shot and you were uh, romantically involved with uh, Garth Knight. It's, it's, not, it's not very good. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm on, I'm on all bad. I'm it's on all full bad. alert here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, so um, do, do you remember from, from Goliath? Uh, I, I heard some some rumors that, that there was a very heavy rainfall in uh, Las Vegas during filming, and, and some of the cars were maybe flooded and, and standing in the basement. Uh, oh, oh, of, Ce of, of, of Caesars. Caesars. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I do. Rem I vaguely remember that. That that was more the technical side. Yeah. Um, but there were so many kit cars they, they had different cars for different purposes i'm sure you know this but, yeah, um, yeah. uh but uh so i i i think they were able to i don't think it slowed down production i'm not sure that wouldn't be something that i would have uh wasn't my department that there you know on a production that big people don't there are so many different things going on that unless it directly relates to you, if it had delayed a shoot date or shoot time for me, then I would have known exactly what was going on. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, they're not going to call all the cast members and say, you know, or the, 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 that, oh, we've got a problem. They're just, they're just changing. Uh, whatever. And they would, they would change lines. They would change whatever you get at nighttime. You'd get your, you have your script for the day at the end of the day, they send you a new script with either lines to correct from the day before, but most likely it was just, they were new lines. So you'd have to completely relearn lines very quickly. Um, and uh, so if, yeah, that it, it, only if it would have affected that, I don't remember it affecting mine. So oh, okay. I wish I had a better story for yeah. you. <laughs> but, 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 uh, but there was a lot of uh, uh, rainfall uh, in, in Vegas during the shooting. Yeah, yeah, there was. Yeah, yeah. It was quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of it, most of it was indoors, except for yeah. when we had the, the big, you know, the car fight, the car and the truck fight. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and, and you, 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 were actually, you, you were actually filming on location uh, at, at Caesars. Yes, yeah. absolutely. How was that standing and being the, being the dealer? The, the, I think it was, it was Blackjack. I, that's right. I was the dealer um, and... Uh, I remember, uh, you know, the things we do when we're young. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, the makeup girl had done, had given me a very almost no makeup look. And that wasn't how I was used to seeing myself. And it wasn't what I looked like when I got the job. So I thought, how am I going to fix this? How am I going to do this without insulting her? And so I went into the bathroom, which was my dressing room. Um, and I just kind of beefed up a little bit, a little bit more mascara, maybe a tiny bit more eyeshadow. Anyway, I, I get back out to shoot my scene and the makeup girl comes to me and it's like her hair is on fire. She's so furious <laughs> with me. <laughs> but I had messed with her masterpiece. Yeah. Her. I probably shouldn't have done that, but my... My logic to that was, wait, look, I was hired with this makeup on. So don't you think they'd want me on the show with this makeup on? And she came back at me and she said, look, the show has a look. <laughs> That's not the look of the show. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> nice. And, and if, now if I look back, I do see I was probably wrong. So I apologize all these years later to the makeup girl i was learning too <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course um how did it work when when you uh, were shooting scenes in kit you, you have you have quite you have some scenes in uh, in kit also with with uh, with david hasselhoff i'll just try to move it on here oh here, here we got yeah it's still it's still a, not a very good picture but we've got it here sean southwick um as rita hillcast yeah, yeah, that was a big deal back then. Yeah, you it know, was. Yeah, yeah. To get to get, uh, I was the final, um, the you know the bumper, yeah, credit. Yeah, uh, with my with my character on it, that was. Yeah, that that, that, was, that was big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, yeah. yeah, I actually have that same shot um, on my phone somewhere, okay. and I okay. probably frame it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and we're in the desert here, and yeah, you got your your. Uh... Right, and that's Jack Gill. No, that's Jack. No, no I, I don't think it is, is it? I think it's it's the guy who played oh, Ron. No, I think it's the guy who played Ron. No. I don't, it's, yeah, it's, no. you oh, because you you can't you can't see a thing on on this. Uh, yeah, very very light screen. Um, yeah. Okay. So, uh, well, my, my... Um, again. Yeah. Mistake. <laughs> here we are in the car. Um, yes. And, and if, if you could, if you can, can, can remember anything, can, can you try to talk about how was it being, you know, and, and, and not just being in the car with David Hasselhoff, but, but filming while yeah. driving or while being towed uh, with cameras all over the place. And yes, yeah, yeah. it was wild. Um, so they had the, the first time we did it, there was a camera on the front of Kit and it was just as, the, you know, it was placed there so they could get their shots of the two of us facing forward. Yeah. Um, we probably shot that scene, uh, gosh, many times because of the different um, shots that they needed. Yeah. Um, there was no windshield. Uh, I remember that, and that was weird for me. Um, I'm pretty sure there was no windshield. Now I'm, now it was, geez, it's so long ago. Yes. <laughs> even believe how how many years we won't say um, <laughs> but it was forever um so that was one thing i remember the thing i remember most is that david had cut out his lines and they were taped all over the car in different places so and again i was very impressionable and i thought well i guess that's normal for an actor to not know his lines and take them all over the, the room or the car or whatever. That was not normal. That was specific to David. Um, but it was, uh, yeah, it was kind of funny and, and strange. And in that moment, I thought, gosh, where are my lines? Why can't I take my lines to the thing? But I was just a guest on the show. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> um. but it was, there was a lot of dust. There was a lot of, um, the weirdest part was when David was not in the car and, uh, and Jack was driving. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, have, I, have, I have, I have, I have a picture of that. Yeah. I'll just come back to, to this, uh, to this, uh, uh, it must have been some kind of studio scene where, where you're sitting in the dark, uh, talking to, to the car. it wasn't a studio scene. They blacked out the, the, the car. Okay. Okay. So, 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 uh, so, so you were actually you know, in the, in the car. Yeah. Okay. I was in the car in, in the desert. We were still in the desert there. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, and Jack was sitting, uh, next to me. There you go. Um, and he, the way they, I don't even, your fans already probably know that, uh, that particular car, when, when the car is driving itself, has a chair where if you look at the headrest, there's, there's netting there. Um, and then, so Jack was sitting in the chair, the chest was, the chair was made for him and he could see through that netting. And then down below, below his waist was a steering wheel and all the stuff um, that people didn't get to see. So there, there it, it was not as magical as, as it looked, but that, but television does have a way of making things magical. <laughs> yeah, it does. And, and I think, I think, I think everyone watching this conversation will, <laughs> will would, would have died to be in that car with Jack Gill <laughs> sitting next to them and, and driving, driving the car, uh, like, you know, like a blind, blind drive car, like it was Kit driving. Yeah, it must. Yeah. Have, yeah, yeah, it must have been fantastic. Did did did, uh, did you spend a lot of time uh, in in the car with with David and and with Jack? But with both, yeah, yeah, because yeah. yeah. um, that there we were in the car a lot. Yeah, uh, we were driving uh, on a on a I think on a regular road, the road leading to the the dusty desert. Yeah, um, and then and then the desert shots which took i think 
we may have even done two days uh, in the desert. Not, you know, again, I don't have my calendar with me uh, and I don't know oh. exactly, but it feels like it was a, it was a return. And I do remember Barbara Rush, who was also in that, she was the, the mother of yeah. Garth. Um, but wait a minute, if she was the mother of Garth, his evil twin, she had to have been the mother no, no, she had, no, she hadn't, because, because, because they, 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 uh, Michael Knight was, as you, you can say, invented from Michael oh. Knight, who you saw getting shot. So, so right. Wilton That's Knight right. created Michael uh, in, in the image of, uh, of, of his own son, oh. Garth, who was, of right. course, packed away in an, in an African prison. Um, right, 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 yeah. right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. right, okay. Thank you for clearing that up. Um, but I remember Barbara just being such a lovely person and knowing that I was new because I told her I was, this is the first time I've really done this where I was the guest, you know, the guest, of course she was, had a huge part in it too, but I had a lot of scenes and a, and a lot to learn. Yeah. And she was just so, so kind to me. And, and I've seen her, well, I saw her, uh, uh, I don't know. Years, years after, is she still with us? Is she still? I'm, I'm not alive? sure. I'm not sure. Know. I'm not sure. But um, anyway, I just remember that she, she just couldn't have been nicer. And and it's when you're the new kid on the block, yeah. it, it really means a lot to have someone. And David was also so sweet to me. Yeah, yeah. Um, that, that 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 that's actually quite uh, quite uh, often that what I hear from from actors uh, that that have been on Night Rider. It, the, 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 there was a very good uh, mood uh, when doing the show, yes. and, and and David was was helpful in 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 all the ways he could be. Absolutely, he did. You know, sometimes when you do uh, the reverses, the the, the close ups. Um, there are actors who will sit there, who will leave you, and you do your lines with somebody else. Yeah, yeah. So they can get the close up. David never left me. No. He was all, he always stayed and was generous with his time and really kind of pulling out of me the best of whatever I had in terms of acting and, and my skills. He helped me yeah. to, um, to learn and understand. And, there was one really funny moment. Um, oh gosh, where? Mul was it Richard Mul? Who, who, who was the English accent? What was his real name? Ed Edward Mulher. Okay. Edward. What say it again? Edward. Ed Edward Mulher. Okay. Yes. Ed well, Richard Mulvane. Close enough. Um, no. <laughs> it was different with him. I crossed. I didn't. Uh, you know. I was still learning. But somehow in one scene, I, I went past him. You walked in front of my key light. Never do that again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the key light is the one light that, you, you know, is in charge of his face, getting his face to look the best. Yeah. And heaven forbid someone put a shadow on it. <laughs> <laughs> So it, 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 it was it was tough being the new kid on the block with, with Edward Mulher. Yes, it was. It so was. Have, have you any uh, any memories uh, uh, regarding uh, Rebecca Holden, who played who played April? I don't know. You... She was great. You know what? I, I I remember being terribly envious of her hair. Yeah. She had this yeah. big yeah. thick yeah. mane of yeah. hair, yeah. and uh, but she was very very nice too. It, it was such a a positive. Uh, experience both times yeah. um I, you know she had some kind of funny very 80s hairdos where she had the ponytails sticking out of yeah, her exactly. head and yeah yeah ratted hair and, um but she and i didn't have any real scenes together so it was just more passing each other on the set and sitting waiting for our turn to to do our scenes yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah. can, uh, can you remember the time span? How, how long did, did uh, how long were, were 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 you on on set, and how, how long did, did it take to to, uh, to 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 get Goliath? Uh, yeah, in in, in the box. I think it was a two week shoot. Yeah. Um, and and, so and that's 
you to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, that would have been my best guess. Uh, um, and how did that work? Uh, did, uh, did, uh, did, did, did you have a car of your own or, or a van of your own? Or, or how, uh, how did that work? I didn't as, as I anywhere. I wanted to, I was either in my room studying lines or on the set or sleeping. Okay. That was it. There was no, because I was so new to it and I really wanted to, to do a good job. Yeah. Um, I did not party with some who may have been partying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not going to say <laughs> who, who may have been partying, but um, second season was definitely a different feel than first season. Yeah. Still great. Just different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the the, the actors and and everyone around the set more more uh, more confident. Um, Much more. Yeah. David was uh, so so much more comfortable in his own skin, and he had figured out who Michael Knight really was. And obviously, the first show, he still wasn't sure who Michael Knight was. It's you get a job, and you're creating this character, yeah. and uh, and David had spent so many years in daytime television. Um, as one character, yeah. so uh, this was he, he had to he had to kind of get, figure out. Well, his backstory was given to him by Glenn. Uh, the backstory meaning who he who he is and why he is the way he is. So that's very helpful yeah. uh, a producer to to give that to an actor yeah. before heading in. Yeah. But 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 David made it his own. It by by the second uh, season. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, I just have a couple of more pictures. Uh, I don't know how, what, how much you can see here, but 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 uh, you're standing beside Kit, and there, there there's a fight scene going on right in front of you. Um, I'm freaking out, <laughs> and I'm scared. <gasps> Or was it this? Was it concern? No, no, no. It was. Let me think. I'm trying to figure the look I had. It wasn't. It was. It, Yeah, that was me trying to be really concerned. Yeah, concerned. You know, you know, uh, uh, Michael Knight is fighting Garth Knight, so so yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a rough day at, at the job. Do do uh, do you remember some of the differences uh, between the cast that you were in? Um, you, you 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 mentioned, the, of course, you got the one with with Jack Gill where he would where, where he can drive the car. Um, yeah. How, how long were you in the car? Uh, you know, when 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 driving? Because we we uh, in that scene we see Kit, um, yeah, um, actually racing through a pole or something like that. Were you also in the car when when it did when 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 it did that? When it did what? It, 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 what I, th I think I think it, it it raced through a pole. Actually, I've yeah I've got the scene here. Just just give me a second. It's a it's a bit handheld here, but uh, I think I can find the scene here. You know, it's a. Uh, It's so fantastic. Okay. Uh, just give me a second here, if, if we can do it. Oh, I wish Glenn knew. Well, I believe he does know. I believe he's still. His, I believe we continue to live, and uh, our spirits move on. And I, I'm, I bet Glenn would just be tickled. Yeah. To know that this is that you have this fan club and. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we do, yeah, and I, I, yeah, if if he knew how how uh, I, I I think he he knew it because because uh, the, 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 this whole fan culture of Night Rider uh, was yeah. was uh, was very huge also uh, in 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 his late 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 years. Um, yeah. So, so so he knew of it, but but it's 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 extreme. We're sitting here 40 years later talking about uh, 39 years well, later. Sorry. Thirty nine. Sorry, I'm exaggerating. I'm hugely exaggerating. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, but, but 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 you you can see if if you watch this scene. Um, yeah. Okay. So kid is firing up, and and you're in the car when we see it now. Right. That's okay. you, and they come out. And, and, yeah, and, and, and I think the windows were blacked out. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 they out at that point. They were yeah. for a long time, but but uh, but we we just see that. Uh, yeah, you can see. Kit oh, the pole. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know if I was there. Now, I I had a stunt double as well. Yeah, yeah. 
I think she was in the car when it went through the it went pole. Through, went through the pole, yeah, yeah. So, uh, mm -hmm. but 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 still, you 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 got the chance to uh, to to drive in kit um, with Jack Gill. Besides, when 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 yeah. when when when, uh, when Kit was driving, and that is huge. Um, it, it was uh, yeah. I get. I guess you know what? Thinking about it. Not everybody got to do that. No, no. As, as I said, I'm sure that everyone who watches this video would have uh, yeah, given their right arm for it to be them. Uh, I, I, I know that I would. Um, yeah. <laughs> are, any of the, are any of the kit cars still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, jo Joe Huth um, and AJ Palm Palmgren, um, who's, uh, who, who call themselves Night Rider historians, and th this is going to be on, on, on their YouTube channel. Uh, they uh -huh. uh, they both own kit cars that that were on the show, and I think that that five five cars have have survived. Um, wow! I'm, I'm not as lucky, yeah. you know. You know, I'm situated in Denmark, so so it's not like okay, I'll I'll get a, a kit car from from the US. Um, I, I have right. I have a replica, uh, a, a kit replica. Uh -huh. um, yeah, you do. yeah, yeah, with, with dash and uh -huh. everything, and 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 a computer, so I can yeah I can talk to uh, to the car as well. Um, uh -huh. Yeah. So so uh, yeah. So and it, and it's, it's 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 fantastic driving driving kit around and and uh, yeah and and seeing all the smiles that you get from from people who remember the show. Um, so so. So they do say is that the kit car is that? Yeah um, yeah they they do, they do yeah care. they do and it's it's uh, even even yeah. though even though Night Rider was not that big in Denmark. We we only yeah. I think we in, in the, the show ran from eighty two to eighty six, and and in eighty six <laughs> we saw twelve episodes on Danish national television, and we only had that one channel at the time. Um, oh wow! Yeah. So, uh, so 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 uh, uh, the the uh, the the rest of the episodes came I think in nineteen ninety three or nineteen ninety four. Um, yeah. So so I, I I had to see them all in in German language German dubbed. Oh, um, oh yeah. I wonder what the actress who did me, I wonder what she sounded like, <laughs> dubbing her voice in. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we, did, in fact, we did have to do some dubbing. Okay. We're okay. dubbing, dropping your voice in. Yeah. Because if you're driving in a car and there's all that, no matter how well they mic you, there's going to be something going on, a plane flying over or a gardener making, <laughs> making yeah, noise. For example, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so that's when you go into a studio once everything is done and they show you your scene, they give you your, your, your word, your lines, and then you've got headphones in and it goes beep, 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 boom. That's, and so you have to start your line on the fourth beat. Yeah, okay, of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your lips on the screen so you're matching what you're saying. So if they want to have a close-up of you, you dang well better be able to to know exactly what tone you said, and they'll play it for you what you did on the, you know, in the in the real shoot. But um, that's a whole other. That a lot of those conversations had to be re-recorded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. So. Oh. Yeah, my interconnection is you. What did that just say? It just said something about my interconnection. Internet connection is. Yeah, but I, it's I, gone. I, I I lost your sound j j j just for five or ten seconds. So, but but oh. not to worry. Okay. Not not to worry. Okay. Not not to worry. Um, yeah, I'm 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 uh, yeah I'm I'm running out of uh, out of questions. So I don't know if you, if you, if you have, yeah if you have any more uh, any, any more memories um, from from, uh, from from doing this. Um, um, I remember also that fateful day with the makeup artist. Um, I lost my voice. I was so nervous. It's the only time in my life when my nerves overtook my body and I had no control. So I, I pushed it out. Um, but I was kind of, I don't, I don't know if you, if you notice, I'm kind of whispering. Michael, I don't know. Well, I, I <laughs> you know, what are you doing? But it was, a, it, I, I noticed when I watched it again, there was a lot of whispering going on because I was so nervous. I, it was, um, I, I just, again, it's first, you know, new kid on the block and uh, the, the silly 
mistakes that happen that people may not know are happening because the producers are, are kind enough to help you cover them up later on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> make friends with the editor, make friends with the lighting person, especially if you're old, like me. You want good lighting. <laughs> I don't think it's necessary. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I have 18 lights staring at me right now. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, Jacob, this this is really so fun. Yeah. This is I, I, I hope I hope that that you've had a good time. Uh, it, 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 this was meant to be a, a, a enjoyable trip down memory lane uh, for you. And and Thanks. hopefully, uh, I know, and not hopefully. I'm I'm sure that Night Rider fans all over the world will appreciate hearing all of your uh, uh, memories from uh, from being yeah. on on Night Rider in in yeah in in two such iconic uh, episodes uh, episodes as the pilot and and Goliath. It's uh, uh, one other interesting side note. Um, Suzanne Barnes, who was in the Next season's two-hour opener. Yeah. Wound up. Now I I didn't know her. Nothing. She is now married to my brother. They've been married for I don't know how many. Oh gosh. No, probably like thirty-five years. Okay. And at the time, neither one of us knew each other, and it's such a weird random family connection. And, and Suzanne didn't know Glenn okay. the way I knew Glenn. Okay. But yeah, so we, I start meeting, I meet my brother's new girlfriend and we start talking about our similar acting experiences. And she said, yeah, well, I was in season three of also with uh, Goliath, with uh, uh, the, 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 is it Goliath? Was, Goliath was a truck. Yeah, Goliath was a truck, yeah. yeah. Who was the, the, the name of, oh, Garth, Garth. Yeah. Yeah, so she she was in there with her. So that's that's just a family history thing. Yeah, uh, and weird coincidence that someone so close to me, we, our family has completely taken over the first three of four, the three or four seasons. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and you've done well. You've done so a well. Six hours of, yeah. of night riders in yeah. our family. Yeah. So, 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 what do you think of being of being approached? About a show that that yeah went on and was now on that went on for so long. thirty-nine years later. I just think it's wild. I never would have imagined that you and I would be sitting here today, all these years later. Um, again, I didn't I didn't know how far the show would go. No one knew. Yeah. And uh, and and here we are, all these years later, with people who uh, realize how special. Uh, that the, the whole series really was. Knight Rider was magic. Yeah. Glenn knew how to create magic. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Let that be the final word. I think I, I couldn't have put it better. So, right. uh, so thanks so much for taking the time to to have this conversation with me. Um, oh. And uh, yeah, I hope to get the chance to talk to you at a later point in uh, in I time. Love Maybe we will meet at some Night Rider convention in, in the U.S. I don't know. Um, great. Do they have them? They have Night yeah, Rider yeah, conventions? They, yeah, they, they, they have Night Rider conventions. Yeah, every year. And, wow. and, 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 and next year is, is the 40th anniversary. So, um, well, I better be there for that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Awesome. But I, just, if you're in touch with them, tell them. Sean yeah. needs an invitation. To that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Great. I'm. 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 I'm sure. I'm sure that uh, that that Mark Pewitt, who's uh, who's in charge of it, it's it's down. It no, no it, uh, it's not down. It's it's east in Atlantic. Uh, in, in Atlanta. Uh, okay. Yeah. I, I, I can actually. I know how to get on a plane. Great. <laughs> and, 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 and they and they are and, and they have begun to to fly in the U.S. because we don't see that many air airplanes or aircraft in the air here in Europe yet because of the the really? corona. Oh no, my gosh! No, it's. Uh, yeah. I think it's it's it, it's co it's coming now. Yeah, it's it's opening up, but I think you're you're way ahead of us in in the U.S. Also with the with the vaccination. Oh yeah. 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 We well we've been we've got yeah it was, it's it's called money. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, 
Yeah, but well, I hope I hope you guys start getting at your flights so you can not have cabin fever the way that so many people have during this. Yeah. How have you fared during the virus? Uh, yeah, well, I've I've been on my in my home office for yeah almost a year, eight eight months, um, and just started work again this yeah in, in the middle of June. So, but yeah, yeah, but, but you know, I, th I think it's 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 all about taking it the right way. Um, and and it, it has given me a lot more time with my with my kids with, with the twins. Um, yeah. So so yeah, it's it's been it's been wonderful and 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 for for some 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 parts of uh, of, of the Corona lockdown, uh, they haven't uh, had their the usual afternoon activities, football and weekend fo uh, fo so so soccer. Right. It's called it's called in, in U.S. soccer. Um, yeah. so, so, so we've had time to, to relax, time to do all the things that, that we normally don't do. And, and yeah, yeah, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's important also to, 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 to take that uh, as, a, as a good experience and, and bring it on and, and may, 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 maybe create a, a slightly different balance. In, in, yeah. the thing you do, in, in, in the things you do and, and the way you live. Um, yeah, so uh, I, 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 I think, I think a, a lot of people has, uh, have, have, uh, have realized that, that uh, there are some important things that, that they maybe haven't been doing enough uh, and they've had time to do it in, during the, yeah. the lockdown. Uh, I agree, yeah. totally. Yeah. I, I think it's interesting that people, I think people either, well, there are all sorts of people, but there was a big group who found the the good parts about the virus about being locked down and, and being with your family and figuring all that out and then there are the people who had the negative experience and yeah. whatever else happened yeah. um but i'm with you you know we, we were able to pause and kind of reset and figure out what is important yeah Exactly. Yeah, but but and, and still, and that's the positive thing. But but still, the the the, uh, the lack of of being social is 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 always right. a drag. Um. So so it's it's so nice to to be back in in, in the office now with with the uh, yeah with with uh, with my colleagues. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Of yeah. Good. So, Good. Yeah. Well, stay healthy. Yeah. And stay. You too. Stay stay well, Sean. <laughs> I hope that I get the chance to talk to you again. This has been wonderful. Simply, oh, and you. and I it's I thank I yeah I thank you so much for taking the time to do to do to do this. Well, thank you so much for waiting for me while I was not on time for you. Forgive me. Stay well, <laughs> stay well, and stay safe. Hopefully, we'll get the chance to to see each other sometime in the future. I really hope so. Okay, Can't you have wait. you have a nice we'll day. You too. Okay. Thanks, take care. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, fans. <laughs> and now, while we listen to Joe's selection of Knight Rider music that we received directly from Don Peak himself, we'd like to thank these Patreon supporters. Look at you guys scrolling up the screen to my right. Wait a minute, how can you tell which side is my right since you can't see me because I'm not on camera? Oh well, you know what I mean. We're featuring these fine supporters at our Knight Rider prop restorer level. Thank you very much for your support. And for those of you at the Knight Rider History Hunter level, we're recognizing you right now in the description. Now, if you enjoyed seeing this golden nugget of Knight Rider history being rescued from obscurity, then please consider supporting us on Patreon. Your support would empower us to bring you even more of these historical nuggets. We are the Knight Rider Historians. Till next time, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.